stage we now have the injector lines loose and the uh, glow plug controller off from the back so each individual line is now loose every single one of them all eight of them so now what we're going to do is concentrate on uh, taking the uh, timing gear uh, for the pump and everything off and pull the whole assembly out with the fuel lines and everything at this point uh, we need to mark the gear with the bottom gear and housing so that way when we put it back on everything will line back up since I'm not adjusting the timing or um, you know turning it over to top dead center um, we're just going to mark it so that way it goes back in this update that we have is we now have marked the timing gear on the pump with the housing so when we take the housing off and the pump gear spins we won't have a problem putting it back in and as you can see if we look straight down it here it lines up really nicely so that way we can keep track of it and if it's a tooth off either way you're definitely going to know because uh, it won't be it won't be lined up like that it'll be up or down of that uh, line there on the right so um, that's basically what we're going to be going off of right there and then I'm using this reference point here as a sight gauge down on it so everything lines up according to looking at it from this angle so that's basically an easy way clean off all the oil and everything that's an easy way to uh, mark the uh, the timing we're going to go ahead and pull the pump off now and uh, all the lines and stuff so that'll be the next thing the injection pump out with the timing gear and there's only a total of four bolts that hold it in there's one here there and then two on the other side as well so now that that's out and removed is one assembly it makes it easy that way as you can see it's completely off the all the injector lines and, and everything.